through each one of these four. All right. How? This is the first determinant. It really, the simplest way I think of it is, <clears throat> it's the eligibility process. How does someone become eligible for the family care program? Can I tell if someone were not eligible for the program? Can I tell the process? One of my favorite anecdotes that I always use as part of this is, do you remember the early days of the Medicare HMO program and some of the concerns about inappropriate marketing? Do you know what they used to do? To go find members, they would go to tennis tournaments for seniors, and they would go to shuffleboard tournaments for seniors, and then they'd hold their marketing meetings um, where they'd invite you to come and have dinner with us. You know where they'd hold them? They'd hold them in buildings with no elevators, and they'd hold them on the second floor. Why would they do that? Well, first, seniors that go to tennis tournaments and play shuffleboard are much more active. And if you're active, you're healthier, right? And then, why would you um, hold it on the second floor? Because a healthy person can walk up a flight of stairs. They were trying to do a selection game. It's an easy thing to do. I can convert that example into something that goes on in a much less nefarious way, but is just as selective. Um, if I'm a health plan, let's say um, Milwaukee and Madison both have children's hospitals, correct? But they're in different geographic areas. Let's say that there are two health plans that are in the Milwaukee area. One of them chooses to contract with the children's hospital and the other doesn't. Where are high-risk kids who need the use of the children's hospital more likely to enroll? With the, hospital, with the health plan that has the children's hospital or with the health plan that doesn't? With. Think about your managed care organizations, the ones that are doing the right thing and they're enrolling you as the provider because you provide the best services, they could potentially be selected against. Now, why is this important? In Wisconsin right now, we only have one managed care organization per, per geographic region. So we don't have to deal with selection as much. We have to deal a little bit with the population that doesn't enroll within the program. My understanding is right now the Wisconsin legislature and the governor is debating whether you bring competition to the managed care program. That's, that's starting to happen. Has it started? Oh, okay. So I'm a little behind. Sorry, I apologize. A lot of my research is on the web and you know, everything that you read on the internet is accurate. I'm a French model. <laughs> <laughs> so, selection is a huge issue, and you can select purposefully or subconsciously. It's something that we need to be thinking about, and something as you look at the certification process, you need to figure out how are they dealing with selection. Who? Who enrolls? This little call-out box is one of the um, things that um, I think is fascinating about social services research and its application to healthcare. Do you know what the biggest determinant of whether someone is institutionalized? It's the presence or absence of a female caregiver in the household. It's not their health status, it's not their need, it's not their risk, it's not their age. If there's a woman to care for them, they're less likely to be institutionalized. If there's not, they're more likely to be institutionalized. These kinds of things are the kinds of things that PwC is looking at when they're trying to figure out what rate cells do I need to differentiate the risk among the population that's getting enrolled. So first I need to know how people come in and are there different boxes of people that come in. And then they look and they say second step of the people that do come in, do I need to slice that pie differently? So let's say that there's 15 people here and there's 20 people here. Just on the simplest level, do we think the risk of this 15 is the same as the risk of this 20? Just looking at it, I'd say no, okay? There looks to be more men over here. Uh, this side is clearly better looking. <laughs> um, there's all kinds of ways that you can slice up different groups and try to look at risk. Um, health status, income, gender, prior health care usage, social resources, contextual information has to be incorporated as part of the rate development process. 
Now are you beginning to see some of the nuance why I said it's not just enough as the actuary.